One of my favorite tiling window managers of all time is DWM, that's Suckless's Dynamic Window Manager. And the problem a lot of people have with DWM is you have to manually patch DWM to add functionality to it. Because out of the box, DWM is only about 2,000 lines of code, less than 2,000 lines of code, I think. So you have to add all of these patches to turn DWM into a proper desktop environment. For my custom build of DWM, I think I patch it for like 8 or 10 different things. And the patching is kind of time consuming. It's tedious. It's a little bit of a hassle. And I really think that really prevents a lot of people from giving DWM a chance. Well, I've got a, a really cool little build of DWM that I came across the other day. This is uh, Back of Bees over on GitHub, and this is called DWM-FlexiPatch. And what this is, is he's got all the patches for DWM in this repository here. So he's got every single DWM patch known to man. Now, they are not enabled out of the box. What you do is when you clone this repository, you go grab this repository here, there is a patches.def.h file. And these lines here were define, in this case, bar awesome patch, and then zero. What this is, is if it's set to a zero, the patch is disabled. If it's set to a one, the patch is enabled. So that is a really easy way to add and remove patches to your build of DWM. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna actually test this out. So I'm gonna fire up a VM here. I've got a VM of Manjaro Linux, and I'm going to uh, do a quick git clone of the DWM Flexi Patch repository, and we're gonna quickly build DWM with some of the patches that I like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my GitLab repository for my build of DWM, DWM-DistroTube. And because I know on this page, I list eight, nine different patches that I like to add to my personal build of DWM. So I'm gonna add these same patches with DWM Flexi Patch. So let me get over to this virtual machine here of Manjaro and I'm gonna open up a terminal and let's go ahead and make it full screen. And let's zoom in if we can here so you guys can see the commands. So let me go ahead and grab the source code for DWM Flexi Patch. So I'm going to do this with git clone and then the URL, which is https colon slash slash and then, of course, github.com slash. The guy's name was Backaby and his repository was called DWM dash Flexi Patch dot git at the end. And now that we've cloned that, if I did an ls to verify, you can see we have a new uh, folder here in our home directory, dwm-flexipatch. Let's cd into that directory, and then I'm going to do an ls. And the file that we really need to play with here is patches.def.h. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that in Vim. And then what you need to do is go through here and just... Find the uh, patches that you want to enable. So anything that has a zero and you want to enable it, just turn that to a one. And I, I don't really know much about that patch, so I'm going to set that back to zero. Some of the ones that I often set include things like uh, alpha for transparency. Attach a side is one I typically add because I like new clients when I open them to uh, appear in the stack rather than in the master pane. So there is the attach a side patch. I'm going to go ahead and enable that. I also like cycle layouts. Let's see, the cycle layout patch is right there. I'm going to go ahead and enable several of the various layouts. So if I go all the way to the bottom of this document, this is where all the layout patches are. Monocle is already going to be there. Tile is already going to be there. I think that's the default master and stack. So I think you know, by default in DWM, you have the master and stack, the monocle layout, and a floating layout. But I also sometimes like having a grid layout, so we'll add that. We have the Fibonacci spiral layout. I'm going to go ahead and add that. That's not something I typically use, but I, I want to test this out, right? I want to add several patches to see if this thing actually builds correctly when we're done. Typically, I add the rotate stack patch to my builds. So if, let me do a search for rotate stack. There's the rotate stack patch. We'll turn that on. And I've added, I don't know, eight or ten patches here rather quickly to uh, patches.def.h. So let me clear the screen. Now, once you have patches.def.h set with all the patches that you want, all you need to do is actually do a sudo make install. So I'm going to sudo make install. And hopefully it builds correctly. No errors were returned, so it actually did build this correctly. So let's go ahead 
and try to log in to our new DWM. So let me go. How do we log out of XFCE? I don't use XFCE that, that often. Let's get back to our login manager. And in the login manager, somewhere down here, we have XFCE session. Uh, the one thing that DWM doesn't do is it doesn't create a .desktop file. When I log back into XFCE, we need to create a .desktop file for DWM. And just to make this easier for me, and it also would be easier for you guys, I actually have a .desktop file for my own build of DWM over on my GitLab. So let me go over to my GitLab at gitlab.com slash dwt1, and I'm going to go to my dwm-distrotube repository. And in my repository here, I have a dwm.desktop file. So this just saves us from having to do any typing. I'm just going to do a quick uh, copy and paste job here. And now that I've got that, I need to actually get into a terminal. And let's make the terminal full screen. I'll zoom in a little bit one more time. And what you need to do is you need to place this in slash user slash share slash x session. And I don't think by default on Manjaro, because it only has the one desktop environment, uh, XFCE here, it, I don't think that directory actually exists. I'm going to actually do a sudo, and we're going to go ahead and make that directory the, the slash user slash share slash X session directory. I'm going to ask for root privileges, and now I'm going to do a sudo vim, and I want to go to user share X session slash dwm.desktop will be the name of the file we're going to create here. And then I'm going to do that copy and paste. It says uh, unsafe paste. Let's see why it's unsafe paste is because it doesn't respect our uh, line breaks. So I'm actually going to have to go in here and manually do the uh, line break. So give me just a second. And now that I've got the format correct once again, let me do a colon WQ to write and quit out of Vim. And then I believe we could just log out of XFCE and log into DWM now. And now in the login manager, when I go down here and click on the sessions, let me move my head out of the way. I have XFCE and I have DWM. Let me click on DWM and let me log into DWM just to verify that this works. And it did. We are actually using DWM. And let me open a terminal. I believe it's a Alt Shift Enter by default to open a terminal here in DWM. So it's using the default key bindings. So I'm not using my config. But let me open HTOP. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open. Yeah, I'm, I just wanted to verify that the patching did work. That the attach aside patch is working because the new windows are actually appearing here in the stack. So uh, Alt Shift C will close and Alt Shift S. Let me do a quick X render dash S 1920 by 1080 to get a proper screen resolution. Yeah, so DWM Flexi Patch. It definitely works. Uh, I think that is a really interesting project. Like I can really understand why this project exists. So many projects out there. I mean, I, I won't say that many projects have no reason to exist. I mean, a lot of people just want to practice coding. A lot of people are just out there having fun, but this solves a real world problem here. Flexi patch is one of those things that I, I can really see helping potentially hundreds, maybe thousands of people discover DWM that otherwise would avoid it because of the manual patching. Now, before I go, I want to thank a few special people. I want to thank the producers of this episode. Absy Dallas, Gabe, Lou, Mitchell, Alan, Akami, Archvitar 30, Chuck, David, the other, David, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Polytech, Scott, Steven, Smin, Wes, and Willie. They are the producers of this episode. <laughs> Without these guys, this quick look at DWM Flexi Patch, it wouldn't have been possible. This show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because the DistroTube channel is sponsored by the community. I don't have any corporate sponsors and i would like to ask you guys for your support please consider it look for distro tube over on patreon all right guys peace now we just need a x monad flexi patch